Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 40 Shining Legends booster packs. Of course, Shining Legends is a brand new special expansion released for the Pokemon TCG. The official release date for this set is October 6th. It is a special expansion, meaning that you cannot buy booster boxes of this set or individual booster packs. What I did is I bought four Elite Trainer boxes from the Pokemon Center online for $49.99 each. Each Elite Trainer box had 10 booster packs in, so I opened up the Elite Trainer boxes and took out the booster packs. I have opened up one Elite Trainer box of Shining Legends in the past. You'll find a link on the screen, had amazing pulls there, hoping to repeat those types of pulls here. The goal is to finish this set as quickly as possible, and I'm a huge fan of this set, and you'll see why in a minute. So 40 total packs here. I'll make this one video, so it should be a very enjoyable video. So first pack here has Shiny Rayquaza on it. Of course, Shining Pokemon cards, the main attraction to this set. And you're guaranteed at least a Hollow in every single pack. That's one of the reasons I really like this set. Four and two is a card trick, like all other Sun and Moon series sets. And the first pack in this opening starts with a Purloin, Plusle, Stunfisk, Minin, Weasel, Psychic Type Energy, Ultra Ball, Carnivine, Arbok, Reverse Hollow of an Energy Retrieval, that is an uncommon. And the first rare here is a Mewtwo GX. So some great cards you can pull in this set besides the Shining Pokemon, you can get regular GX, GX Full Art, one Full Art Trainer, and then some GX Rainbow Rare. So an excellent start to this opening. The Shining Pokemon would be the cards I like best from this set. They're about 1 in 15 packs. I was able to pull two from my Elite Trainer box. The Shiny Genesec now. The most valuable cards in this set would be the Mewtwo GX Secret Rare and then the Zoroark GX Rainbow Rare. So the second pack here starts off with a Shroomish. Scraggy, Jinx, Minin, Torkoal, Fairy Type Energy, Pokemon Breeder, the one and only full art trainer in this set, Arbok, Great Ball, Reverse Hollow of a Float Soul, that is an uncommon, and the rare here is a Shining Rayquaza. What a beautiful looking card overall. Like I mentioned, really like the Shining Pokemon in this set. And the last set to include Shining Pokemon would be the Neo Destiny set way back in the early 2000s. So what a great pull right here. Hopefully I'll pull many more Shining Pokemon out of this 40 booster pack opening. And Rayquaza the Gold Star, another shiny version of a Pokemon in the Pokemon TCG. One of the more valuable Gold Star cards. So, so far, two for two. I know you get at least a Hollow in every pack. But very happy with the first two pulls. Ivysaur to start this pack. Zorua. Plusle. Toracat. Breloon. Metal type energy. Great Ball. Electrode. Lipard. Reverse Solo of a Scrafty. That is an uncommon. And the rare in the pack is a Zekrom. And I believe all of the rare holo cards in this set are legendary Pokemon. But I'll set that aside. Of course, I'll summarize all the good pulls at the end of this opening. And every single pack has at least one good pull inside. Probably my favorite cover artwork of the packs, the Mew. This pack starts with a Scraggy, Voltorb, Ekans, Pikachu, Totodile, Fairy-type Energy, Venusaur, Switch, Double Colorless Energy, Reverse Hollow of a Volcarona, that is an uncommon, and the rare here is a Marshadow. I do like the hollow pattern on these cards, reminds me of the hollow pattern from Burning Shadows. Shiny Genesec pack now. And the plan is to do a informational video on this set as well as a how much are Shining Legends cards worth. Bulbasaur to start this pack. Pikachu. Buizel, Totodile, Toracat, 
metal type energy, Lily, Pokemon Breeder, Arbok, Reverse Hollow of a Latios, and there is a rare, pretty good pull right here. And the final card in the pack is an Eveltal, and that is a rare hollow. Shiny Rayquaza is a pack now. If my memory serves me correctly, I believe there are six different shining Pokemon in this set. I have three total now in my collection. Larvesta to start this pack. Litten. Croconaut. Golit. Bulbasaur. Psychic type energy. Energy retrieval. Golurk. Spiritomb. Reverse hollow of a Voltorb, just a common. And the rare here is a Shining Mew. What a beautiful looking card. And I did read a few comments on some of my videos. A lot of people are pulling extremely off-centered Shining cards. And you can see this here, a very thin border on the bottom of this card and a very thick border on the top. Definitely wouldn't want to send this card to get in graded. It would definitely receive a poor grade. But an excellent pull there, Shining Mew. Beautiful looking card, probably my two favorite shining cards I've pulled in this set, in this opening. Should make a top 10 video from this set as well. There are 78 total cards in this set, so it is similar to a regular expansion. Ivysaur to start this pack. Zorua. Plusel. Toracat. Breloom. Fighting type energy. How? Switch, Golurk, Reverse Hollow of a Great Ball, that is an uncommon, and the rare here is a Raikou, so one of the three legendary beasts in hollow form. So that is four hollow cards so far. The Shiny Mew pack again. Plusle to start this pack. Jinx, Croconaut, Scraggy, Larvesta, Grass type energy, Golurk, Scrafty, Floatzel, Reverse Hollow of a Toracat, that is a common, and the rare here is a Zekrom. Second Zekrom Hollow pull in this opening. And something I like about this opening is that it is from Elite Trainer Boxes, so you could get some runs of pretty amazing pulls here. Shiny Rickway is a pack now. For example, if you opened up a booster box, you may be guaranteed a GX Rainbow Rare. Here you could pull two or three of them. Bulbasaur to start the pack. Pikachu. Weasel. Totodile. Toracat. Water type energy. Great Ball. How? Switch. Reverse Hollow of a Pokemon Catcher Uncommon Trainer. And the rare here is a Raichu GX. One of the first sets in quite some time to feature Raichu as an ultra rare. Set that aside. Second regular GX pull in this opening. I believe I pulled that Raichu GX in my first Elite Trainer box that I opened up of Shining Legends. And similarly, two generations, there'll be a bunch of collection boxes being released throughout the year that feature Shining Legends packs. Next pack here, Lorvesta to start. Litten, Croconaut, Golit, Bulbasaur, Water Type Energy, Scrafty, Floatzel, Electrode, Reverse Hollow of a Scraggy, just a common, and the rare here is an Entei GX. Really do like this regular GX from the set, a Legendary Beast. So now I pull Raikou and then Entei for Legendary Beast. Did just open up a blister pack on my channel that features special hollow cards of each of those Pokemon. It will be interesting price wise to see what these cards are worth since you are guaranteed a good pull in every pack. Total dial to start the pack here Shroomish, Ivysaur, Jinx, Minin, Psychic type energy, Incineroar, Spiritomb. Super Scoop Up, Reverse Hollow of a Spiritomb, Uncommon Reverse Hollow, and the rare here is a Shining Volcanion. So that is the third Shining Pokemon pull in this opening. Have pulled the Shining Volcanion previously. I do like it quite well, especially for a newer Pokemon. Would love to pull all 
six shining Pokemon in this opening. Probably going to go online and try and complete the set after I get done opening these 40 packs. Larvesta to start here. Breloom. Toracat. Plusle. Zoroa. Fire type energy. Lily. Pokemon Breeder. Arbok. Reverse Solo of a Lipard. And that is an uncommon. And the rare here is another Shining Volcanion. So back to back Shining Pokemon pulls. Excellent overall. Really having some good luck with this opening. So here we have a Shiny Genesect pack now. I did look at some prices before I made this video and it looks like Shining cards go for between about $15 and $30 a piece. Ivysaur to start this pack. Zoroa, Litten, Quillfish, Shroomish, Water Type Energy, Golurk, Spiritomb, Super Scoop Up, Reverse Hollow of a Litten, just a common, and the rare in the pack is a Zekrom. Third Zekrom Hollow, I believe, out of this opening so far. Shiny Rayquay is a pack now. Still on the hunt for any type of secret rare pull. Very well with the Shining Pokemon so far. I've done very well. Breloom to start this pack. Minin. Larvesta. Torkoal. Ivysaur. Lightning type energy. Lipard. Pokemon Catcher. Golurk. Reverse Hollow of a Voltorb. Just a common. And the rare here is a Mewtwo GX. And this is one of the best cards to pull from the Shining Legends set. It is a secret rare, and it's similar to the Shining Pokemon cards, just having Mewtwo in a holofoil pattern. So one of the best cards from this set. Saved me a lot of money right here pulling this card from a pack. Wow, if I had some great luck in this opening. Wow. Shiny Genesect pack now. If my brother was watching like he used to, it would have gave him a high five just then. What an excellent pull. Croconaut to start this pack. Purloin. Larvesta. Litten. Breloom. Psychic type energy. Damage mover. Volcarona. Feraligator, one of my favorite starter Pokemon. Sophocles is the reverse solo uncommon rarity, and the rare here is a Keldeo. At least I haven't pulled Keldeo so far. Wasn't that Zekrom hollow? Back to a Mew cover artwork pack. Voltorb to start this pack. Golet, Bulbasaur, Stunfisk, Quillfish, Lightning type energy, Carnivine. Floatzel, Warp Energy, Reverse Solo of a Buizel, that is a common, and the rare here is a Latios, the only rare Reverse Solo I've pulled in this opening. So about halfway through this 40 booster pack opening, no complaints at all with the pulls. The card I'd like to pull most out of the remaining packs, the Zoroark GX Rainbow Rare, both that Mewtwo and then the Zoroark are worth around $100 a piece, at least right now. Weasel to start this pack. Scraggy, Voltorb, Ekans, Pikachu, Darkness type energy, Ultra Ball, Damage Mover, Volcarona, Reverse Solo of a Fighting type energy, a beautiful looking Reverse Solo. And the final card in the pack is a Shaman. So starting to mix it up a little bit with the Hollow pulls. Shiny Rayquay is a pack now, of course, the first Shining card that I pulled out in this opening. Has been a while, outside of that Mewtwo, of pulling an Ultra Rare card. Shroomish to start this pack. Scraggy. Jinx. Minin. Torkoal. Water Type Energy. Howl. Scrafty. Double Colorless Energy. Reverse Hollow of a Minin Common Rarity. And the rare is a Verizian. Mewtwo cover artwork pack now. Voltorb to start the pack. Golet. Bulbasaur. 
Stunfisk, Quillfish, Darkness type energy, Carnivine, Sophocles, Lily, Reverse Solo of a Torkoal, just a common, and the rare here is a Manaphy. So I've been on somewhat of a hollow run. Be nice if the hollow cards were one in four or five or six packs like most Sun and Moon series sets. Croconaut to start the pack. Purloin. Larvesta. Litten. Breloon. Fire type energy. Arbok. Venusaur. Switch. Reverse solo of a darkness energy. Like I said, really like the reverse solo energy cards in this set. And the final card is a Shaman. Mewtwo cover artwork pack again. Still very happy to pull that Mewtwo GX secret rare. Onto the left hand stack that you saw at the beginning of this video. Golet to start the pack. Purloin. Plusle. Stunfisk. Minin. Grass type energy. Pokemon Catcher. Incineroar, Venusaur, Reverse Solo of a Manaphy, only the second rare Reverse Solo pull in this opening, and the final card in the pack is a Shining Mew. Have pulled this already in this opening, but that one was severely miscut. This one's a little bit better, still not perfect edging on there, but much better than the first one. I've done very well with Shining Pokemon pulls in this opening. When I was opening up the Elite Trainer boxes for this opening, I kept the packs together. So, Ivysaur to start this pack. Jinx. Minin. Torkoal. Quillfish. Psychic-type energy. Venusaur. Lily. Carnivine. Reverse Solo of a Zoroa. Common rarity. And the rare is a Verizian. So I believe I pulled a couple of Verizian and Shaman Hollow, so some grass type hollow cards. Mewtwo cover artwork pack now. The pack here starts with Scraggy, Torcat, Plusel, Weasel, Zoroa, Darkness type energy, Fur Alligator, Sophocles, Super Scoop Up. Reverse Hollow of a Shroomish, just a common. And the rare here is a Zoroark GX. So one of the best GX cards in this set. Regular GX here, pulled out four so far. But it had been a while since I'd pulled a GX last. Scraggy to start this pack. Torcat. Plusel. Weasel. Zoroa. Lightning type energy, double colorless energy, Lipard. Oh, skip the card there. Would be an Electrode, and then going right to the Reverse Hollow in Carnivine, uncommon Reverse Hollow. And the rare in the pack is an Eveltal. That is just a Hollow. Shiny Rayquaza is a pack now. This pack starts off with an Ekans, Pikachu, Croconaut. Purloin, Larvesa, Water Type Energy, Spiritomb, Damage Mover, Reverse Hollow after this Volcarona, is a Bulbasaur, just a common, and the rare here is an Entei GX. I believe that is the second Entei GX in this opening, but very happy with that pull. Shiny Genesec pack now. I actually did purchase five Elite Trainer boxes for Shining Legends, and I actually started a giveaway yesterday where I'm giving away one Shining Legends Elite Trainer box, plus a bunch of other items. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. Atkins to start the pack. Pikachu. Croconaut. Purloin. Larvesta. Fairy-type energy. Arbok. Warp energy. Switch. Reverse Hollow of a Venusaur. You'd think it'd be a rare. Uncommon Reverse Hollow here. And then a Zekrom is the final card in the pack. Shiny Mew cover artwork pack now. I've done very well with these Shining Pokemon pulls. Pulled out two Mew and two Volcanion. Litten to start the pack. Breloon. Voltorb. Golet. Bulbasaur. 
metal type energy, Golurk, Howl, for alligator, reverse solo of an Arbok, uncommon reverse solo, and the rare here is a Hoopa. Cool looking card, first holo of Hoopa I believe I pulled so far. Mewtwo cover artwork pack now. Litten to start this pack. Breloom, Voltorb, Golit, Bulbasaur, Fighting Type Energy, Floatzel, Energy Retrieval, Scrafty, Reverse Hollow of a Super Scoop Up, Uncommon Reverse Hollow, and the rare here is a Shining Janisect. So continuing, my great luck with the Shining Pokemon. I'll set that aside. Too many to count over there, I'll have to summarize the amount at the end. Second Shining Genesect that I have in my collection. Bulbasaur to start this pack. Golit. Croconaut. Litten. Larvesta. Grass type energy. Energy retrieval. Scrafty. Floatzel. Reverse solo of a Golurk. Uncommon. Reverse solo. And the rare in the pack is a Raikou. A beautiful looking hollow card. Shiny Rayquaza pack now. I'd say about 15 more packs left to go after this one. Ivysaur to start the pack. Jinx. Minin. Torkoal. Quillfish. Fire type energy. Scrafty. Great Ball. Pokemon Catcher. Reverse Solo of a Keldeo. That is the third rare reverse solo pull in this opening and the final card in the pack is a Palkia and that is a Hollow. Shiny Rayquaza pack now. Wouldn't mind pulling another Shining Rayquaza. Totodile to start this pack. Shroomish. Ivysaur. Jinx. Minin. Fire type energy. Incineroar. For alligator. Super Scoop Up, Reverse Solo of a for Alligator, second in this pack, Uncommon Reverse Solo, and the rare is a Reshiram. Have pulled plenty of Zekrom, believe that is the first Reshiram pull. Shiny Mew cover artwork pack now. I would say, like I mentioned, Mew my favorite cover artwork, and then Rayquaza the second favorite. Zoroa to start this pack. Litten. Quillfish. Shroomish. Golit, Metal Type Energy, Volcarona, Lily, Damage Mover, Reverse Solo of Niveltal, only the fourth rare Reverse Solo in this opening, and the final card is a Hoopa, like I mentioned. Had not pulled that card before, now pulled two in the last few packs here. Mewtwo Cover Artwork Pack, Plusel to start the pack. Jinx, Croconaw, Scraggy, Larvesta, Psychic Type Energy, Floatzel, Electrode, Carnivine, Reverse Solo of a Minin, just a common, and the rare here is a Hoopa. Wow, that Hoopa's almost trolling me. Three of them in the last few packs now. Mewtwo cover artwork pack again. Would love to pull any type of GX Full Art or a GX Rainbow Rare. They've been hard to come by. Hard to believe out of 40 packs I wouldn't pull one GX Full Art. Breloom to start the pack. Ekans. Stunfisk. Pikachu. Bulbasaur. Grass type energy. Scrafty. Great Ball. Sophocles. Reverse Hollow of an Incineroar, that is an uncommon. And the rare here is another Raikou Hollow. One of my favorite looking Hollow cards in this set. Shiny Genesect pack now. Golit to start the pack. Zoroa. Purloin. Litten. Voltorb. Fairy type energy. Switch. Howl. Damage Mover, Reverse Solo of a Totodile, my second favorite starter of all time. And the final card in the pack is a Shining Genesect. So pulling two Shining Genesect out, 
in this opening. So several duplicates of these shining Pokemon. I'll take that any day. Huge fan of those shining cards. I've always preferred the older Pokemon cards over the newer ones. So anything that reminds me of the older cards I like best. Golit to start this pack. Zoroa. Purloin. Litten. Voltorb. Darkness type energy. Electrode. Warp energy. Don't believe I pulled this card so far. Pokemon Catcher, Reverse Solo of a Bulbasaur, that is a common, and the rare in the pack is a Shaman. Four packs left to go in this 40 booster pack opening. Very happy with the pulls out of this large opening. I have opened up 40 booster packs for both Guardians Rising and Burning Shadows. I'm going to try and do that in the future with Crimson Invasion. Breloom to start this pack. Atkins, Stunfisk, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Fighting Type Energy, Volcarona, Lipard, Energy Retrieval, Reverse Solo of a Scraggy, that is a common, and the rare here is a Marshadow. It's been a while since I pulled that Marshadow Hollow out. Third to last pack now. Like I mentioned, would love to pull another Secret Rare or a GX Full Art. Or a full art trainer, just the one in the set. Otherwise, we'll have to buy those cards online once this set is officially released and the supply of the cards increase a little bit. Stunfisk to start this pack. Pikachu. Bulbasaur. Totodile. Shroomish. Grass-type energy. Volcarona. Lipard. Ultra Ball. Reverse Holo of a Golurk, Uncommon Reverse Holo. And the final card in the pack is a Keldeo. So two packs left to go here. And then I'll summarize my pulls at the end of this opening. I don't know if I'll do the Hollows or not, because I've pulled so many. Especially when one is guaranteed in each and every pack. Stunfisk to start the second to last pack. Pikachu. Bulbasaur. Totodile. Shroomish. Fighting type energy, switch, floatzel, energy retrieval, reverse hollow of a larvesta, that is a common, and the rare here is a Raikou hollow. So final pack here in this 40 Shining Legends booster pack opening. And like I mentioned, several Shining Legends products will be released in the future. I plan on opening all of those. Let's see if we can end this booster pack opening with some last pack magic. So final pack here starts with a Totodile, Bulbasaur, Golit, Croconaw, Litten, Fighting Type Energy, Feraligator, Carnivine, Sophocles, Reverse Solo of a Plusle, that is a common, and then the final card in this opening is a Raichu GX. So a great way to end this pretty amazing booster pack opening. So give me a second here and I will summarize all of my good pulls. So out of 40 total packs, I only pulled out four Rare Reverse Solo, any Veltal, Keldeo, Manaphy, and then Latios. And you have to remember, there are no rare non-holo cards in this set, so all four of these cards, normally rare holo cards. Out of the 40 packs, I pulled out 25 rare holo cards, so 15 of the 40 packs had an ultra rare or better in them. And I pulled out 25 rare holo cards, 12 different ones, so I'm just showing one of each one because I pulled out so many. So there's Latios, Manaphy, Verizian, Keldeo, Eveltal, Palkia, Reshiram, Hoopa, Shaman, Marshadow, Raikou, and then Zekrom. So there are the 12 different ones that I pulled out. I have to imagine I pulled out at least one of every holo card in the set. I did pull out six regular GX cards from the 40 packs, two each of Entei and Raichu. And then one each of Mewtwo and Zoroark. Mewtwo and Zoroark, the better GX cards that I pulled out. 
out of the 40 packs, I pulled out seven shining Pokemon cards. And what I read up research wise is that these cards are about one in 15 packs. So did very well with these specific cards. Pulled out two each of shiny Genesect, shiny Volcanion, shiny Mew. This one's really off centered. So two each of those, and then one Shining Rayquaza. So it did very well with the Shining Pokemon. And then I would say the best card in this entire opening would be the Secret Rare Mewtwo GX. So to summarize the 40 booster packs of Shining Legends, in total I pulled out 4 Rare Reverse Holo, 25 Rare Holo, 6 Regular GX, seven shining Pokemon, and then one secret rare. So very happy with the pulls in this opening. I hope to open many more Shining Legends booster packs in the near future on my channel. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.